For more than two decades, China's economy has been the dependable engine for global economic growth. But that engine is starting to splutter. The world's second largest economy is slowing, and President Xi Jinping's zero tolerance COVID-19 campaign is being blamed, 30 months after it began. But in Wuhan last month, he signaled that it was a price worth paying, given the low vaccination rate. No country in the world has been able to get it down to zero. So how is China going to be able to do that, particularly with its low vaccination rates? It seems a very tall order. Earlier this year, business activity in Shanghai was brought to a standstill for weeks, creating chaos and food shortages. Now the business and logistics hub is struggling to contain another outbreak, with households advised to stock up on two weeks of food and medicine. While many countries are trying to live with COVID-19, along with its multiple sub-variants, China, it seems, will not be joining that list anytime soon. And so for now, the economy remains stuck in a stop-start pattern. This week, the government has released another batch of economic and trade statistics, but they don't necessarily reflect what's really happening to the economy, says one skeptical analyst. I think it's a, it's, it's a reference, it's a reference, but uh, like all official statistics, uh, we analysts uh, um, try, to how, try to figure how to correctly interpret that. I think that's the key. The figure that does matter, though, is the one for annual economic growth that this year China's leaders set at 5.5%. I think that's going to be very hard to achieve because there are so many headwinds at the moment. We have inflation taking off around the world. Maybe the world economy might sink into recession. So that means um, China's export markets could well collapse. With millions of people confined to their homes, consumer confidence is flat. That's why inflation's hovering at around 2.5%, low compared to the US and Europe. The uncertain economic path is unfolding in a politically sensitive year. After the 20th Party Congress in November, President Xi expects to secure an historic third term. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.